Please discuss how evil came into being. It could not create itself. Very true. God created everything. And he called it good. Very good. God did create everything. And everything he created, he proclaimed good. Very good. Nothing can come into being without him. Okay, so how can there be evil then? If everything God created is good. Evil is not a created thing. When God created everything out of nothing, he declared it to be good, very good. That's Genesis 1 and 2. And then we have Genesis 3, where things went wrong, the fall. Okay? An analysis of the fall. Adam and Eve. Good. Very good. All the rest of creation, angels included, good. Very good. Well, then where did evil come from? God, didn't, did God create evil? No. Well, where did it come from then? I'm going to tell you. The angels, first of all, were given a test. We don't know precisely the nature of the test, but some of the fathers and doctors of the church uh, have held that the test had to do with uh, the revelation of the incarnation and redemption. Some of the angels failed the test. In other words, God revealed to the angels that he was going to assume a human nature and become like one of us, human, in everything except sin. And they didn't like that. Lucifer, one of the brightest of all the angels, the very name means light of the morning or morning star. Lucifer, one of the highest, one of the most intelligent, one of the most beautiful. Lucifer, blinded by his own light, chose darkness. He didn't like God's plan. No, if you're, going to, if you're going to assume a created nature, it'll be mine. I'm the highest and the best. So if you're going to assume a created nature, it should be angelic. In other words, he said, look, God, I don't like your plan. And I'm not doing it. I'm not going along with it. Pride. I'm better than God. I can decide. You know, I don't like God's plan. My plan's better than God's plan. Pride. Result, disobedience. Non serviat, Lucifer said. I will not serve. And what was the response? The response came from St. Michael. Quis ut Deus? Who is like unto God? You know, what kind of arrogance is this? You think you're better than God? You have a better idea than God? Oh, and then the battle was on. So, pride, disobedience... Death. Where did evil come from? That's where it came from. The fall of the angels first. Then in the garden. At the instigation of the same devil, the serpent, Satan. Ah, did God tell you that you cannot partake of the trees in the garden? He said to Eve. No, God said we may partake of all the trees in the garden. Human freedom is very broad. But you may not partake of the tree in the center of the garden or even touch it lest you die. And the tree in the center of the garden, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the, the serpent's response, oh, surely you don't believe God. No. God knows that if you partake of that forbidden fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you yourselves will become like gods, knowing good and evil. Subjectively and arbitrarily apart from God. In other words, hey, disobey God and you'll become God. Make up your own truth, your own good. Well, Eve looked at it. Hey, the fruit, it looked good. The story sounded good. What was the enticement? Pride. I can be like God. I can be a God myself. God ultimately determines what is good and what is evil for his creation. See, the devil didn't like that. Eve said, hmm, I can become like God, knowing good and evil for myself. I don't have to, not, I don't have to pay attention to God. I can determine what's good for me. Sound familiar? Yeah, very contemporary. You know, I can decide. So what happened? She, she disobeyed. She part, partook of the forbidden fruit. And then what happened? Well, the pride 
resulted in disobedience, and the disobedience resulted in death. That's where evil came from. At that very instant, that's when evil, well, evil actually entered the created universe with the fall of the angels. But for humanity, that's where it started. So is evil a created thing? No. In a manner of speaking, pride which resulted in disobedience, that resulted in evil. evil that's how evil came about. It wasn't created by God. Nothing God created was evil. Everything God created was good. How did evil come into being? Well, cr creatures precipitated it. Angels and then men. How did they do that? Arrogance, specific kind of pride. Arrogance, disobedience, death. And that is the prototype of all sin. You know, you're so arrogant that, that you think you are the ultimate determiner of good and evil. Well, I'll decide for myself if my relationship is good or bad. I don't care what God teaches or I don't care what his church teaches. I'll decide for myself what's right and wrong. You know, I'll decide for myself if artificial contraception or an abortion is right for me or wrong for me. That, that's subjectivism. Okay, that's moral relativism. Playing God. See, we want to play God. Who decides when life begins and ends? God. What often happens? We try to do it. You know, artificial contraception, you decide to play God. You're going to decide when life begins. Abortion, you're going to decide when life ends. Suicide, you're going to decide when life ends. Assisted suicide, murder, same thing. You're not God, I'm not God. God is God. And he's the only one with a high enough seat to see everything, to know what's good and what is evil. And so we have to defer to him. But see, that's the origin of evil. Pride, disobedience, death.